What the hell is an ORM map? Chances are you've seen a texture that looks weirdly orange-green when scrolling through rip models of your favorite game. You might have thought, what is that? Well that, my friend, is an ORM map. And it's basically three texture maps packed into one. But before we get there, let's talk about something else. Have you noticed how in almost every Blender Guru video, the guy tells you to set the color space of certain textures to non-color data? Or in Blender's case, a non-color space, okay? It should be non-color data. You would also wanna set your color space to non-color data. Again, make sure your color space, because it is PBR map, it needs to be set to non-color data. When we've done that, it looks terrible. It's because those maps hold grayscale data. They don't use color to tell us anything. They use values black and white or shades in between. These values tell the shader how shiny, matte or shadowed something is. This is totally different from an albedo or diffuse map, which holds color information across the red, green and blue channels. So if the roughness map isn't really using color, then theoretically you could plug it into one of those RGB channels and it would still work, right? Of course it works, you dumb fu- That's exactly how an ORM map works. The occlusion map goes into the red channel, roughness into the green and metallic into the blue channel. And when you combine them, you get this weirdly colorful looking texture. That's your ORM map. This is amazing for optimization because you're saving space and memory. Instead of three separate textures, you've got one. So how do you make one? You don't need specific software. You can use Substance Painter, Blender, Photoshop, Gimp, whatever you like. You just take your existing occlusion map, roughness and metallic maps and assign each one to a color channel. Again, occlusion goes to red, roughness to green, metallic to blue. In Substance Painter, it's even easier. When exporting textures, you can select or create an export preset that packs the AO, roughness and metallic into a single image. Substance does all the channel packing automatically. But if you're using Blender, you can do it manually. And it's pretty simple. You grab your AO, roughness and metallic maps and plug them into a combined color node. Then add a diffuse BSDF node and plug it into that. Then create a new texture file, name it whatever. Then in cycles, go into the bake section, set it to diffuse and color only. Then select your texture map and press bake. And within a few seconds, you should have your ORM map. Save it somewhere and then reuse it. You can remove your occlusion, roughness and metallic maps from your scene to clear up some space. So now you got your ORM map. But how do you use it? Now that we've combined the maps, we need to separate them again. Most game engines like Unreal Engine or Unity already have built-in options to read specific color channels from a texture. You just plug red into AO, green into roughness, blue into metallic and you're good. But if you're in Blender, you gotta do everything manually. But don't fret, it's only a singular node. Similar to the combined color, we now need this separate color. Keep in mind though, don't set your ORM map to non-color because we do need the colors this time around. So from your ORM map, plug it into a separate color node and now your R, G and B will be your separate textures. You can plug them accordingly into your principal BSDF node and it'll work just like before. So that's it for this one. If this helped you understand ORM apps or you just realize why all those orange green textures exist, now you know. For more breakdowns and tutorials about game ready assets, hit that subscribe button with the bell notification icon as well. Hit that like button on this video and comment down whatever else you'd like to see in the next video. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.